Lens's fast technology modules are a way to resolve some of the biggest challenges in engineering automation software. FAST stands for Feasibly Applicable Software Toolbox. It's a toolbox of pre-made applications that you can use to control your machine from top to bottom. These are standardized applications for modular programming of machine control. A technology module contains a complete and previously tested drive function. They have integrated basic functions like manual jog, homing, positioning, and an integrated visualization for easy commissioning and testing of the software modules. The reusability of the modules increases the quality of the software and consider considerably reduces the time required for programming, commissioning, and testing. What are the benefits of programming this way using the modular approach? Most of your code is already written. All of the motion is handled within this one function block. You just have to fill in the process logic behind it. You get increased productivity. You can take the time that would have otherwise been spent writing code and focus on the rest of the engineering and development process. Reliability. These are proven standardized solutions that have been used in thousands of applications around the globe. You will spend less time troubleshooting your motion code and more time making progress. This is the easy way to program. Let's take a look at how you can apply these software modules to an example machine. This is a packaging machine divided into five sections. We have an infeed, unwinding, shrink wrapping, cross sealing, and an outfeed section. And using only six different modules, we are able to control this entire process. When you program a machine using modular code like this, not only is it simpler to commission, but it also becomes easier to follow and troubleshoot. This is a selection of some of the machine modules available in the toolbox. Camming, electrical gearing, table positioning, smart conveying. These are machine functions that you see repeated time after time in automation. So it makes sense to have a pre-made, easy to use solution that you can call up whenever needed. We also have a pick and place module. The pick and place application module is an easy solution for the handling of complex three-dimensional movements. It's got profile control for up to four axes and compatible with 10 different kinematics configurations. What kinematics are included? Cartesian portal, belt kinematic, parallel delta kinematics, linear delta, scara robot, and articulated P. This is what it looks like in the PLC designer environment. On this slide, we have the kinematics model we've defined on the left, the visual interface in the middle, and the function block on the right. What I'd like to show you is how easy it is to achieve multi-axis coordinated motion using the Lensa software module. How complicated is it to commission one of these pick and place function blocks? It's actually very easy. All I'm gonna do is drop a function block into my ladder logic, define it as a TT1P pick and place. Auto declare. And then I need to link the access group that I've defined, which in this case is a portal kinematics with three degrees of freedom. I need to link that into the pick and place function. And I do that here. So now this function block has all of the information it needs from that access group in order to calculate the path profiles from point to point whatever I'd assign it to do. Let's take a look at the live version. Now that we've got our pick and place function added, we've got our kinematics profile defined, and we got our inverters and motors configured. Let's see what this thing looks like in action. So actually, with every Lenza technology module, there comes an interface along with it that allows you to edit each input and parameter within that function block. And so on this one, I've, I'm connected, I've got it enabled, and I've got the inverters on. So in order to define a profile, I would go over to this window here, click on the profile parameters, and here I've got up to 10 individual profile points that I can define. I've got an X and Y position here. Uh, velocity, acceleration, and blending radius if you wish. Uh, let's see what this looks like 
using another visualization that allows us to see what's happening in real time on these axes. I've got it set up to draw a square right now. And if we wanted to add a blending radius to that, it's as easy as going to the profile parameters and choosing one of the segments and adding a blending radius. Let's do two. Run it again. And just like that, it handles all of the path profile calculations. The interpolation, the blending is all handled for you with very minimal coding. Now I'd like to show you what this looks like in our virtual reality kinematics model.